guards. Don't speak or make a sound. No sign of him? Just patrols. Lots of them. But in the back position, that was Sarko. That was President Sarko. Electronic security reports intruders in Sector 3. All units are now on red standby. We've run into more security than we expected. It's going to take longer. Listen, Blake, we've got a problem. It's an unidentified ship. It seems to be closing in all the time. Well, what do you want to do? Investigate. Well, be careful. There's a door on the ground floor. It's the only entrance. There is an open window around the back, but it's high up. We've got to get onto that roof. Looks to be two intruders. Two at least. Chaining to all units. Red standby alert is now red mobilization. Repeat, red mobilization. All units to move in on the residents. You don't seem surprised to see me. I've been expecting. Why are you expecting someone? Assassination has always been a legitimate tool of state power. I didn't come here to murder you. This is the finest private collection of 20th century Earth objects anywhere in the galaxy. Even on Earth itself you would find no collection like it. I'm not a murderer. I'm grateful for your semantic precision. Political assassination I can live with. President Sarkov, I must speak with you. Will you listen to what I have to say? Ex-President. I just want you to listen. I've wasted my life listening. Listening to people who are arrogant, vacuous, and just plain vicious. I smiled and acquiesced in the face of prejudice and stupidity. I've tolerated mediocrity and accepted the tyranny of second-class minds. Now all that is over. I am ready to die. Here among the things I value. I am ready to let you kill me, but I am not ready to listen to you justify the act. I'm afraid they do work. I said, put them down. I heard what you said. I heard every feeble, self-pitying word. Why should they send assassins for you? You're already dead, Sarkov. Who are you and what do you want? I came here to take President Sarkov back to his people. But I am not the same man. But to them you are. I am no longer a politician. She's with me. Is he ready? Must I listen to you too? No opinions? None. You are needed to unite your people. I see. Yes, I remember in my last years of office we received an ambassador from Arlon. His name was... Li Han. Yes, Li Han. I was leader of the planetary government in Lindor for five years. During that period I resisted political pressure to join the Federation. Eventually I decided to settle the issue by trying to get a vote of confidence. So I called election. And he was beaten. Of course he was beaten. My friend, I was totally annihilated. And no precise decision followed my political distress. Lindor did not join the Federation. Your planet is in total chaos. There are dozens of factions fighting for power. When the fighting starts, the Federation will move in a peacekeeping force. And your planet will have lost its freedom. You must realize you're a prisoner here. Of course he does. Don't you see it, Blake? He relies on them keeping him here. Why should I believe him? Well, what have I got to gain by mine? He must come with us by force if necessary. And put one on him. Liberator, do you read me? Respond, please. There is a place you could hide, safer than this. Deserted in the room. How far? It's about two minutes. Well, that's too far. That vehicle you use. You can get to it without being seen. You should have realized. Realized what? Tice wouldn't stay with me. This is all I have left. Right, come on. You must come with us. No. All of it. Piece by piece. No! Please. All right. All right, I'll come. At the front! 
out. Everybody gets out. Do you read me? Respond. Liberator, we need teleport now! Stay here with you, Gally. Where are they, Zen? Please specify question more precisely. The others. My crew, where are they? Their absence from the flight deck is the only data available. Where are the others? They're all dead.